Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here. Uh, it's been a while, and in today's software tutorial, I'll be showing you how to integrate Stripe um, and also make a very simple checkout flow for your product. Um, and after that, I'm going to show you how you can display different content dynamically to paid and uh, free user groups. First, um, let's enable Stripe integration on software. We can do that by going into settings, integration, and then click on um, Stripe checkout. Here you will need to have your Stripe account ready. Um, and if, if you haven't got your uh, Stripe account set up yet, uh, please pause this video and create a Stripe account first and then come back to here uh, to follow along. Uh, for those who already got, the, uh, got their uh, Stripe account ready, simply click the link here that soft is provided here, uh, which will lead to your dashboard uh, if you're logged in. If you haven't logged in, uh, you're going to log in and then it will come to your dashboard where you can find your publishable key and then you can simply copy that into the first box and for the second box the secret key um, you will need to create one by using this button here and then copy the code into the second key uh, input box on software um, note that this secret key only appears the first time you created it so i suggest you to paste this key somewhere else as well for safety um, but uh, I mean, if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. You can just simply create another one, but it just means that you have to re-plug those uh, secret keys back into software once you have a new one. Um, also on a side note, um, Stripe actually offers a test mode, which means that you can test your integration in a safe uh, test environment. So if you just want to test it out, this integration, test out your checkout flow, you can just grab your test keys from this link here and from here. Um, and copy them over to the respective boxes. So instead of using the live, you use the test key. Uh, I'm going to use the test environment for this tutorial and you can too. Um, just remember to switch out the live versions before you launch your project. So you can check it by just having a look at the code. If it has test in there, that means you're using the test environment code. Uh, so don't do that. Um, um, just don't, don't forget to switch this out for your live versions. Yep. Okay, now on the Stripe side, um, let's toggle the test mode on. Very important. Uh, if, you don't if you don't toggle this on, everything you make is actually live. Um, but if you toggle this on, that means you are making everything in a test environment. Um, and we can click on product here. In here, we are going to add a test product for our tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna go do a quick setup. I'm gonna give it, to, uh, give it a $1 prize um, and then make a one-time product rather than a subscription. Um, you can spend more time here to make your product a bit more refined, but for me, because it's a test mode um, and also it's a tutorial, I am going, going to just save this test product like so. Um, now the Stripe, Stripe side is ready to go. Uh, let's come back to the softer side and set up a simple uh, checkout flow. Um, first, set up a pricing block uh, on any page that you like. Um, I'm just going to do it um, in my homepage. And I'm gonna fill in the information accordingly to our product. Uh, and for the button here, there are two options here. I'm going to go with uh, redirect to URL instead of going with uh, Stripe checkout because this is the simplest, the quickest checkout flow that you can do. Um, because it is very, um, yeah, so just very simple and very quick to set up and to test your checkout flow. For the URL, I'm going to do uh, input forward slash checkout here. Uh, okay, now this block is ready. Uh, now we just need to have a page uh, called checkout and the page URL is gonna be called uh, forward slash checkout. Uh, this, uh, this is associated with the, the forward slash checkout which we inputted in our um, pricing block uh, just then. Uh, make sure the URL is the same, otherwise it will not be redirected to your checkout page. Um, and in, the, in this checkout page, uh, let's insert a Stripe checkout block. And in the product uh, dropdown, select the test product we just made in Stripe. Uh, if this doesn't show up, refresh your, refresh your editor and then double check that you actually made a product successfully on Stripe. And then if you're using the test mode, using, using the test um, uh, secret key or publishable key, make sure that you have the test mode on and also you actually made a product in the test mode. Um, 
you can customize the checkout block however you like. Uh, once you're happy, make sure that you set a uh, you you set up page uh, page after payment here. In my case, I'm directing directing users back to my homepage. Okay, the checkout flow is all ready to go, and let's see how we can display different or exclusive contents to paid users, um, or display contents for free users. Um, first, let's go go to settings user groups and permissions, go, go into uh, user groups, and then we're going to add a user group here called paid user. And let's add a condition where one-time product, uh, because that's what I made in Stripe. So if you made a subscription product, make sure you select subscri subscription here. One-time product, it's one-off test product. If your, um, yeah, uh, just again, uh, if your product is subscription, make sure you pick subscription. Otherwise, uh, you might not, uh, you you will not be able to see the test product you just made because it's filtered by uh, product type. Um, we can also create uh, with this same, pretty much the same flow. We can also create a uh, user group for free users, um, in which we will just say uh, one-time product. It's none of um, test product. Now with uh, these two groups set up we can display different contents to paid or uh, paid and free users. For example, I can set this purchase table, this pricing table just for free users because they haven't paid, I don't want them to pay. Um, by clicking on the eye icon here and select logged in users and then add, a, add uh, the free user group here. And I can set this cafe list block to paid users only because uh, they have paid and I want to display this uh, content just for paid users. Um, by clicking on the eye icon, same same drill, and then select logged in users, and then instead of adding free user group, we add paid user group here. Now if we publish our app and try it out, we can see that right now I'm a free user. As a free user, I can only see the block that prompts me to, to pay. Um, so we, I'll, I'll go in, I'll go check out. And uh, I will check out with the with the test card details here, which you can grab from Stripe. Um, they provide uh, fake cards for you to test with, and I'll leave this link uh, in the description below. And once my payment went through, and I'm redirected back to home page, uh, you can see that I now can see the list of cafes, but not the pricing block anymore because I am now uh, a paid user. Um, this means that our checkout flow works, our user group works, and our, also our visibility settings work. Um, and there you have it. This is how you can set up a Stripe uh, integration and a simple checkout flow. Um, and as well as how you can display different contents accordingly to your user's payment status. Um, hope th this video helped. Uh, if you have any other question related to checking out Stripe, feel free to leave a comment, just ask me. Uh, if you have other questions, feel free to leave comments as well. If you like this video, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, uh, and share this video. Uh, anything will, just will help and also motivate me to keep making these videos to help you guys. Um, so if you need more uh, bespoke help, for example, you, you want to build out a project, you don't know software is the right, is the right tool. Uh, feel free to contact me for a free consultation. You can reach me from my email or my website. I'll provide the link down below. Um, yeah, and until next time, ciao.